Oh. Jaya! Jaya! <laughs> I, have a question. I have a question for this woman. Something mm. I was wondering. Is there a dominatrix? Is there a dominatrix in every woman? I don't... It's hard to say as if there's a dominatrix in every woman, though, right? Mm. I mean, I don't know. You ask those women. <laughs> <laughs> ask the women out there if there's a dominatrix in them. Is there a dominatrix in you? What is a dominatrix? What is a dominatrix? I was just thinking that. I think you have to speak up for them to hear. Oh. oh because the camera is right there. Okay. Speak. Loud. Speak. <laughs> speak your truth. Is there what a dominatrix? Is, is there a dominatrix in you? What is a dominatrix? Do you feel dominatrix in me? Yeah. You do? Well, you yeah. Got, what is it then? Well, it's like, you know, a certain power and rage and fire. Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and powerful fire that has this ability to oh. just like um, dominatrix. It's like there is mm. powerful dominant energy inside of you, mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't have any necessarily anything to do with you know with sex. I mean, sexual energy can be part mm -hmm. of it, but we don't we don't necessarily enter into role plays where you know it's not about that. It's more like an attitude, and this attitude can be expressed in you know, through sexual expression, but more in general, in mm -hmm. life, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you show me your dominatrix. Yeah. My dominatrix, I was saying this earlier, but my dominatrix is like a warrior. That's, I identify more with the warrior than with the dominatrix, but I think it's a similar energy where it's just like, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to testify. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> don't fuck with this woman. Don't fuck with me. But it turns you on, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because it's a certain uh, type of, of power and presence, and it's something that goes, like, oh, God, this, this fire that she has inside of, of her. <laughs> this fire inside of you is, is a turn on, even if, mm. if that fire can be, can be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit dangerous, yeah. you know? It's like, whoa. But what's the point of having a dominatrix? Like, what's the purpose? What's the... Like, why is it so... Mm. Why are we talking about it? I think I, what I feel is that if you have the ability of, of pressing me to the limit, you know, it's like mm. really squeezing me, squeezing, like putting me under pressure mm. and sometimes under pain, you know. You know about the, the physical, the armoring techniques, right? Where you press on points and on the pressure points and you oh, you know, you you bring out the things that are stacked in your system. So there is something that I started defining, which is energetic dearmoring, which is not about the physical pressure, but more about the emotional pressure, emotional dearmoring. So it's like you have this ability to just press to the limit, and then in the core of that is going to force me yeah. into, into evolution. And uh, this evolution is like it, it it forces me to become a better version of myself, to burn whatever in my ego is no longer standing you know it's like you have a house and then there is this hurricane comes and passes by it's going to destroy it's going to destroy everything that is not strong mm -hmm. everything that is not powerful and in the process of doing that it's going to strengthen the structures that are that are there to hold and so being exposed to a powerful woman this one <laughs> it's like it's it's just blasting my mm -hmm. system with um you know, with fire right. and force and energy that uh, transforms me. I'm so grateful. Yeah. <laughs> and I think one thing I want to say about that, though, is I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. I just show up in my truth, which sometimes is maybe a dominatrix <laughs> <laughs> kind of vibe or powerful vibe. Like, I show up in my most truthful, full expression, and that in itself... It's, it happens naturally that you get pushed and that I get pushed yeah. by us just showing up. Yeah. So I'm not trying to be a dominatrix, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, you're not it trying to comes, on, it comes it's just, naturally. It's just embedded in the nature. <laughs> you were born with your, you know. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> the first thing I said to this woman, one of the first things I said to her when I met her, when I met you, I go like, I think I'm in trouble, am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said, oh, you did yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, say that. But uh, no, it's like there's lots of pleasure in the family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no, the, the, the dominatrix part is, is something that, mm. that will express itself in the form of energetically, mm. 
the mm. form of extreme mm. anger or fire mm. rage, you know. Mm. When uh, the other day I said to her, I was questioning her integrity about something. Are you questioning my integrity? You know, it's like it feels like there is a dragon coming out with swords and ready to just slay me wide open. So, yeah, but it's yeah. so not, that's not what it feels like to me. It's just like a clear, like, I'm moving to truth and I'm like, don't fucking question my integrity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> How do you there? But it's, for me, what's interesting is my, how strongly my, my, that energy hits you, but how it's very comfortable for me to be in that. Yeah. Like, yeah. For her, it's like, for you, it's like a 5% intensity. Yeah. And for me, it's like a 150% intensity. <laughs> Like a little drop of fire, it feels like the bazookas are coming out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so lots of fun, my God. Hey, we are doing a little bit of an experiment here, recording some videos together. And uh, if you like this, just let us know. If you want more, you know, we're just yeah. here to share some some of our juicy experiences. <laughs> we love you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>